High School Game Night brought to you by JD's Pazzo Pizza in Ephrata. Welcome back to the High School Game Night Halftime Report. As usual, we're joined by PennLive.com's Jeff Reinhardt. We are talking District 3 football from three different counties. Hey, Jeff, Week 9, great to see you. Hey, Erica, good to see you again. Good to be here. Well, first up, we'll take a closer look at Solanco Golden Mules. Still unbeaten playing Cocalico tonight. Can they run the table? Oh, that, that's the big question. Yeah, the lone undefeated team here in the LL coming into this week. 8-0, big game with Cocalico here. And don't forget, they get Mannheim Central next week. Circle that one. That should be great. Uh, great, great story here uh, this season with Solanco. They've been awesome. Number one in the LL League in a ton of categories, including total offense, total defense, most rushing yards. Uh, best rush defense. They lead the league in scoring differential, so they're blowing teams out. Uh, just a, a fantastic season for these guys. We'll see if they can run the table in Section 2 and win their first section title in a couple of years. And then keep an eye on them for districts. Right now they're in a, in a uh, battle with Bishop McDevitt, uh, the reigning champs here in, in AAA. They're in a battle with them for the number one seed. Right now McDevitt is the one seed. So like I would be the two seed. If they can run the table and get to 10 and 0, we'll see if they can bump up to number one. But I think their concerns right now are, hey, let's finish the job here in section two. Let's take care of business with Cocalico. You know they'd love to get a piece of the Barons. Everybody wants Mannheim Central in section two every year, no matter where they're at. So just a great story. solanco has been awesome, scoring a ton of points, playing great defense. We'll see if they can go 10 and 0. All right, well, over to the mid-pen. Central Dolphin is ranked number one in Quad A. Yeah. Even though they lost to Cumberland Valley last week, mm -hmm. talk to us about the Rams. Heartbreaker last week. Wow, for those guys. Big rival, Cumberland Valley. They lose on a last second field goal with time running out for their first loss. So that's a crusher loss for CD. Uh, they get Mifflin County here this week. That's a winless team. So CD should bounce back, get back in the W column, pick up some steam. They get CD East next week, which is a big rival. Uh, that should be a good game. Uh, if you do the math and the way it's set up right now, if CD wins out, they should be the one seed, even with the loss to uh, Cumberland Valley. Wilson's on their heels. <laughs> Bulldogs are there. <laughs> They've won 55 LL games in a row coming into this week. Uh, Hemfield is also there out of Section 1 in LL League. And um, uh, Exeter's there. And Exeter comes into this week undefeated. So all those teams are kind of battling out for the top spot. But Central Dolphin, Coach Glenn McNamee's team, which lost to Wilson last year in the district final, if they went out, beat Mifflin County, beat CD East. Looks like they're going to be the number one seed going into districts. All right, and finally to Berks County, where Wyomissing and Berks Catholic are on a collision course, both still unbeaten and one and two in the District A AA rankings. Mm. They meet in Week 10 in a game that Berks Catholic won last year. Mm. What happens this year? Ooh, that's a big question. We'll see. They're on a collision course, like you said. I mean, both undefeated coming into this week. Both have extremely winnable games. So let's just let's just say they're both nine and zero going into next week, uh, that, and that should be just a fabulous game. Um, you know, like you said last year, same thing, undefeated, going all the way to districts. Wyo knocked them off in the final, 35-21. I think back in August when we did this, we picked Burke's Catholic to kind of get back and, and get their district crown back because they had won the year before. So, yeah, definitely collision course. Two best teams in Burke's, too. Great offenses, great defenses all around, both undefeated. They should be the 1-2 seed. It's just going to come down to who wins probably next week. Two great programs right now in Burke's, no doubt. All right, well, thanks so much for stopping by, Jeff. One more week to go after this. How about that? See you soon. Thanks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you can check out all of Jeff, Jeff's work over at PennLive.com for all the latest high school athletes throughout the LL League and beyond. And don't forget, we're right back here next Friday night with more live high school football on BRC 11. The Cocalico Eagles will travel to Lancaster Catholic High School to take on the Crusaders. Both teams will really need the win, so it should be a fun one. Remember to tune in next Friday night at 7 p.m. And that'll do it for the Halftime Report. Thanks for watching. We'll send you back out to Mannheim for the second half action between Mannheim Central Barons and the Garden Spot Spartans. Enjoy.